Well, as with all best laid plans, I didn't get quite as far last weekend as I'd like. The uh, Yamaha took a little longer than I thought. I did get the Yamaha running. Um, it's, it starts, I adjusted the idle and everything. Um, but again, I decided I'm going to go ahead and try and fix this uh, starter issue. And one guy was telling me on the, I, I looked up the old video, I think I put it in last week's. Um, there's little springs and stuff in here on these things. I'm having a better picture here. So this is the, basically this is the big ring that catches that has the bearing. So the starter comes over here and spins this. This is your one-way bearing or whatever it is. Took this out and on mine, these little things, these little, I don't think they're magnets. They didn't stick to anything, but um, I didn't really check too much. But anyway, those they think they just fall out real easy. And this right here, these little, I guess those spring thingies right in here, um, are supposed to push against um, these and kind of hold them in. Well, these are all retracted and not even, you know, there's just a big gap right here. You can barely see the nub of that thing hanging out. So maybe that's the problem. Um, I sprayed some stuff and cleaner and degreaser junk down in there and everything. Um, hopefully it'll free up. I did that last night and just let it soak all, uh, all night long. So we'll see. If not, because I don't really know how you get these screws out. They're like... Um, it's almost like an axle nut where you detent them and they won't turn. So I don't know if you can take this apart and repair it or not. So I'm just going to try my best to just kind of clean it up and see if those things will start um, pushing in or out or whatever they're supposed to do. If not, I may just buy a new one. If cleaning it up and freeing these don't work, then I'm kind of at a stopping point on that. So this weekend, I'm going to try and finish up uh, the list from last weekend. Um, well, not finish up because the motorcycle, I won't, I won't get that finished for a while. So, I will, uh, I will try to get that grill completely finished this weekend. It's supposed to be pretty nice and stuff, so, but for right now, I'm going to start this fire. We had a little bit of uh, rain and stuff, so it should, uh, should be a good day to burn. And then the only other thing on the list is to, uh, get my wife's uh, lawnmowers done, because now that we've, uh, had some rain and some nice weather, it's going to be time to mow. gonna take it easy again but I got stuff to do so I don't get behind like last time I will definitely um, get that grill done so I can get that delivered um, need to go see Lee anyway hi Lee hope you having fun over there get that finished we'll try out his so maybe we'll try out the saw today that'd be a good thing to do too um, Lee gave us the well not gave us but let us borrow this big uh, you know two-man manual saw I don't know what they're called um, but we're going to try that out on that stump, see if we can get that cut in half to make it a little bit more manageable since we don't have a tractor. If we can get that cut in half, then we can roll it around. And We're going to try and split it though because I told you about that idea I have for a big old pendulum log splitter. I'm going to get this, uh, this stump finished one of these days, I guess. <laughs> I guess we're in no hurry, but anyway. Keep stoking this fire all day burn the rest of this stump down as much as we can. There's plenty of downed wood and trees that I can go get and uh, throw in here. Plus it's a nice day for that. It's kind of gloomy and supposed to be drizzly and stuff this weekend. So I'll do that. Um, get the uh, grill, grind it off, put that in the garage and start welding on that. Hopefully I can get it finished so I can go see Lee and um, deliver that. As always, check back on Wednesdays and Saturdays and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.